It's incredible how quickly things can be solved when we work together. Yesterday we released a video detailing the mysterious diaries that can be found in Triforce Heroes. After sharing everything that we had discovered, one of the ideas offered up is that an example of each object can be found in every level. This seemed to be backed up by Ben Rosenberg discovering that each level in the Riverside had a turtle rock. Plus there was the fact that two examples of Graffiti Link had been found. So the Zelda subreddit, specifically the one we sourced yesterday, set to work to find every occurrence of these hidden objects. This was mainly headed up by Ben Rosenberg, HPR Shredder, and Miles CPW. Miles ended up being the first to take a picture of every instance of these hidden objects and has since posted each one on Miiverse. First are the butterflies in the woodlands. Then the turtle rocks in the riverside. Then the fossils in the volcano. The so-called bugs or variation of a wall pattern in the fortress. The green handprints in the ruins. The Zelda Snow Women in the Ice Cavern. And Graffiti Link in the Dunes. And it turns out that the hidden item in the Sky Realm were actually bird nests, of which Miles found all four. It's a lot of work to go through each level and scour them completely to find these objects. We have to commend them immensely for taking on this task, but what happens when all of them are found? According to Miles, absolutely nothing. No dialogue changes, nobody recognizes you for it, nothing. It seems pretty much agreed on that this is simply a scavenger hunt. It's all about the journey. While that is disappointing, it is fitting with what we've seen from Triforce Heroes' other secrets. It offers up chances of exploration in a very linear game. Even the tree with all the cicada shells has a simple explanation. Once again, Ben Rosenberg discovered that if you ask the Bearded Baron for secrets, he mentions that the tree full of cicada brings good luck. Likewise, Gaming Fanatic on Twitter has discovered that another of the Bearded Baron's secrets mentions that Tudor at the castle dreamed of being a renowned writer and wrote every day. So it turns out that Tudor is really four eyes. Strangely, once the game is beaten, he stops mentioning both of these things. But that is everything that could be found regarding the diaries. It's an interesting easter egg hunt, even if it's not very rewarding. Thanks for watching and of course stay tuned to Game Explained for more on Zelda and other things gaming.